Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of Souls Talk the Podcast. I'm your host, Staff Sergeant McPherson, and on this show we discuss military topics with current and prior service members. Okay, you guys, so we're going to get right into it. So this video right here is about having soldiers under you. Make sure you guys stay tuned to this video. Okay, you guys, welcome to Podtober Day 4. I told you I'm going to give you guys a podcast for every day of October. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you got any suggestions about future episodes, you can email me at the email below. Also, uh, we're going to get right into it. So, Okay, so having soldiers under you, having soldiers under you. So having soldiers under you is a form of leadership. It's a form of leadership. So what does leadership mean to you guys? I know everybody have their own definition, but what is leadership? Okay, so it says right here, leadership is the ability of an individual or a group of people to influence and guide followers or members of an organization, society, or team. Leadership often is an attribute tied to a person's title, seniority, or ranking in the hierarchy. However, it's an attribute anyone can have or attain, even those without leadership positions. It's a developable skill that can be improved over time. So we're going to start right there. So it says right here, it says anyone, however, it's an attribute anyone can attain or have, even those without leadership positions. So this video is about having soldiers under you, but I want to let the soldiers know that just because you up under NCO, that don't mean you can't step up and be a leader yourself. Because any it says anybody can attain it without even a leadership position, without without a leadership without a leadership title. So the next thing it says it's a developable skill that can be improved over time. So that comes with being transparent and knowing that you're not perfect as a leader. You know, nobody is perfect. So when you make mistakes as a leader, you know, just, uh, you know, learn from those mistakes and continue to grow. Uh, and that's some things that I had, to, that I'm doing myself, you know, uh, getting in different situations and learning what to do in those situations, uh, developing myself as a leader. So the next thing it says it says leaders are found and required in most aspects of society, including business, politics, religion, and social and community-based organizations. Leaders are seen as people who make sound and sometimes difficult decisions. They articulate a clear vision, establish achievable goals, and provide followers with the knowledge and tools necessary to achieve those goals. So having soldiers under you, right, you're going to have to make difficult decisions. You know, this comes with this comes with not being you can't have friend free can't be you can't have a friendship relationship with your soldiers, you know what I mean? Because sometimes when soldiers screw up, you know what I mean? Then you gotta reprimand them. So that comes that's that's a that's a, a difficult decision, right? You know, uh Leaders have to do these type of things, especially when you have soldiers under you. You got to make dis difficult decisions, whether you're doing something, whether you got to recommend Article 15 or anything. You know what I'm saying? So. And it says. They articulate a clear vision, establish achievable goals and provide followers with the knowledge and tools necessary to achieve those goals. So that's my ties into my definition of leadership know to provide purpose and direction you know uh establish achievable goals you know uh don't be giving people unrealistic timelines things that you know you can't meet yourself you know what i'm saying uh 
and then provide them with the knowledge and tools to necessary to achieve those goals so uh that ties into you should be teaching your soldiers <clears throat> whatever uh everything that you know yourself so when you leave or anything like that they know everything that you know you know what i'm saying uh i'm just gonna continue with it. what it says it says an effective leader has the following char characteristics self-confidence strong communication and management skills creative and innovative thinking perseverance willingness to take risks open to change level-headed and reactive in times of crisis so that's the definition of leadership that, that was that was a good definition uh but having soldiers under you right so you want to also lead by example you know what i mean as a as a nco or an officer you want to lead by example uh and that comes with pt that comes with why you at work you know what i'm saying just to give an example if i got a soldier under me and i come to pt and i'm i'm bsing in pt what you think my soldier gonna do my soldier gonna do the same thing that they see me doing but if I come to PT and I'm busting my butt and I'm, you know what I mean? I'm breaking a the sweat. They're going to be like, oh man, my NCO, he getting it in this morning. You know what I'm saying? That's setting an example. Uh, same thing when it comes to work, doing it while you at work. Uh, my soldiers see me BSing, not doing much. What you think they going to do? You know what I'm saying? But if they see me at work, I'm productive throughout the day. I'm doing, I'm working all day. You know what I'm saying? They going to look at that and they going to take heed of that. That's setting an example for your soldiers. Uh, the next thing, having soldiers under you, you should be counseling them, counseling them. You know, me, I'm still working on that because I be so busy at work and I know I ain't, I'm trying to give an excuse or anything like that, but like, yeah, I need to do better with counseling my soldiers, whether they're doing good or bad. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that uh, that's all ties into having soldiers under you, right? Uh, and you're gonna you're gonna become a better leader over time, like the definition says. It's a developmental skill. You know, leadership is a developmental skill. You know what I'm saying? The first time you have soldiers under you, you're not gonna treat them the same as the second time you have soldiers under you, and so it's so and so forth. You know what I mean? You're gonna learn something from each experience, and you're gonna become a better leader over time. You know, uh it's things that I have improved on from when I had soldiers the first time, second time, you know, because it's different experiences. Uh so I want some of the NCOs out there, you know what I mean? Uh, did I leave anything out? Officers, I leave anything out by having soldiers under you, you know. Uh, explain to y'all what I think, well, what's a good definition of leadership, you know. Uh, and a couple things that you should be doing when you have soldiers under you. So that's pretty much all I wanted to get at in this video, you guys. Uh, this has been another episode of Soldiers Talk the Podcast, and I'll see you guys in formation.